Okay guys, and welcome to the first in the series of Brady and Tom Explains. Hello. Me and my glamorous assistant. <laughs> so um, what we're going to do today is focus a little bit on isomers, but also naming, and we're also going to throw a little bit of uh, how to do skeletal formulas in there too. So I've got a question for you, Tom. Okay. Uh, hopefully you've been learning your flashcards. <laughs> so uh, C6H14, can you draw me all of the different isomers of that molecule? Okay, right, so I think I'm going to start off by just putting six carbons in a row. Mm -hmm. And do you want me to name them as well? Yeah, I may as well name them as you okay, go Okay, so we'll just name this hexane, because mm -hmm. there's six carbons mm -hmm. in the straight chain. Mm -hmm. And just to stop you, but yeah. if this was in an exam, you might have lost a mark for that, for this uh, drawing here. Oh, okay, because uh, I suppose what I was trying to draw here was a display diagram. But I suppose, strictly speaking, I should show all of the bonds to the hydrogen atoms as well. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. So I'll just add those in. And as you can tell, this gets a little bit time uh, consumptive doing this. So can we think of a, a better way to save a bit of time on this? Okay, maybe if I use skeletal formula, oh. I just try to represent the main uh, carbon frame of the molecule. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to... So I need to draw six carbons, so I'm going to say one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just going to stop you there again, Tom. Okay. So I think what you've done is you're assuming each of these bonds represents a carbon. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six bonds. When really it's kind of the uh, points at the end. So how many carbons would we have here? Okay. Oh, well, so we've got seven there, actually. Mm. Yeah, okay, yeah. so that would be heptane. That's it, exactly. Okay, right. So I'll, I'll rub this off. I'll start again, so this time I'm going to say, pen on the board, that's carbon number one, mm -hmm. so then two, three, four, five, six. Excellent. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that, that's hexane. Okay, so now I think I'm going to try putting some branches in the chain. Mm -hmm. So let's just remove this displayed diagram here. So I think this time I'll put five in the chain. So again, I'll put my pen on the board, that's carbon number one. So one, two, three, four, five. Uh, and I think I'll just start by bringing another carbon off here. Mm -hmm. So and I'm going to call that, uh, well, I'm going to say this is carbon number one. So mm -hmm. if I number those first, that's one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So I have five carbons in my chain. So that's going to give me the stem of the name. So it's going to be a pentane. Mm -hmm. Just going to stop you yeah. as well, Tom. There is no such thing as a one methyl group. Because uh, what's actually happening here is you've just got a chain of six carbons in a line still. Uh, so this is actually the same okay. as that. I see. So actually, instead of drawing that like that, mm. I could have just drawn it like that. That's it's it. the same thing. So what we really need to look at is not really what it looks like, but the bonding. So for example, if I took this, took my arm, and if I bent my arm like that, it's still my arm, isn't it? Yes. So the fact that we've taken this and wiggled it down a little bit, Still the same molecule? Okay. okay. Yeah. All right, so I think, well, again, I'll try to put five in a chain. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five. And then I'll draw uh, a CH3 group coming off this carbon here. Okay, and then I'm gonna, I think I can do some more like this. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. And I'm just going to move one along. Nice so, and logical, I like it. Yeah, and I'm going to put this here. And then I think I'll try that once more as mm -hmm. well. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, and put one off here. So I'll just try and name these. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I could start numbering here, one, two, three, four, five. But that would give me, I think, four methyl pentane. Mm -hmm. And my teacher told me I need to use the lowest numbers possible. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to start numbering from this side. And I'll go one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. So now this methyl group is coming off carbon number two. So I'm going to call that two methyl pentane. Excellent, spot on. And then with this one, one, two, three. So mm -hmm. we'll call this three methyl pentane. And then this one, I'll go one, two, three, four, and call that four methyl. Pentane. Really good. I like this one. Definitely okay. spot on. I like this one. What was that rule again? Your oh, you? okay. I can see. I've done this, haven't I, here? Mm -hmm. So really, I should start 
numbering from the other end. That's it. So actually, this is just two methyl pentane like that. So, so that's, that's, that's not a real one. So that's I'll it. get rid of this. I like it. Okay, so I don't think I can do any others now where I've got five in a chain because mm -hmm. there, were, there were only these two, really, mm -hmm. two and three methyl pentane. So now I think I'll try putting four in a chain, just go down by one. Mm -hmm. So I'll leave the hexane there for the moment. So we'll just go one, two, three, four. And then that leaves two carbons that I still need to add. So now you said I can't put one on the end, because mm -hmm. that would just be like pentane. So mm -hmm. I won't do that. Won't not to that end either. Same reason. So I'm going to put one here, and I'm going to put one here. And then if I number them, we've got one, two, three, four in the chain. So mm -hmm. it's a butane. Mm -hmm. We've got two methyl groups coming off. So I'm going to say this is dimethyl butane, mm -hmm. and there are the numbers that are the second and third carbons. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say this is two, three, dimethyl butane. Absolutely perfect, spot. Okay, and then I think let's try another one. So if I go for four again, so in the chain, one, two, three, four, and then this time I'm going to put both of the methyl groups off the same carbon mm -hmm. because actually there's also a hydrogen coming off here as well. Carbon makes four bonds, absolutely. So, so I'm going to actually have no hydrogens on one of these carbons and have two methyl groups coming off. Mm -hmm. And just a little thing about that, sometimes yeah. you might see that drawn like this. That's okay. also fine. Is that okay? You can well. draw yeah. either which way. Okay. Yeah. So numbering them. I'll start at this end to give me the lowest number possible for this carbon. So one, two, three, four. So I still have two methyl groups, so dimethyl. Still four in a chain, so still butane. But they're both coming off carbon number two, so I'm just going to call this two dimethyl butane. Yeah, everybody does this. I don't know why everybody does this. The fact that we had two of our methyl groups, we had to put a locum, a number, for oh, each, didn't okay. we? Yeah. Even if it's coming off the same carbon, we still need to say where each of them is. Oh, okay. Basically, if ever you say the word die, before that should be two numbers. Okay, so we have to say the two twice. Two, That's two, exactly right. dimethyl butane. You got it. Okay, and then I'm just going to see if I can do any other. So I don't think I can do any more with four in a chain. Mm -hmm. uh, because I'd basically be adding them to the end or just drawing what I've got already. So I'm going to try three. Mm -hmm. So if I go one, two, three. Okay, so that would mean I still have three carbons. So I might try putting two off this middle one. Mm -hmm. I still need one more. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to, let's say, just put one here this time. Mm. But I'm just going to have a think about this first. So, I'm looking for the longest chain to give me the stem, mm -hmm. and I think that actually that's probably four, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So, uh, actually, if I start any of these places, we're going to get one, two, and then rather coming here, mm -hmm. I should go this way. Mm -hmm. So, that's three, and that's mm -hmm. four. And then I've got two methyl groups coming off number two. So, actually, I think this is probably... 2,2-dimethyl yeah. butane. And again. this brings us to probably one of the most important rules when doing these. This looks way different to that, doesn't it? Yeah. It doesn't yeah. seem like the mm -hmm. right one. So if you was in an exam, you might draw this one different. One of the most important rules is always try and draw your longest carbon chain in the zigzag across the page okay. rather than as a side group. If you do that, it'll s everything will look similar and it'll be much easier for you to notice you've drawn the same thing twice. Right. So I'm going to get rid of this one. Mm -hmm. And then maybe, just to finish, shall I draw up a couple of structures and then Ab you can name them? Absolutely, let's okay. do it. So let's get rid of these. So without really thinking about it too much, I'm just going to draw up a few skeletal formulae. So going to do that one and I'll do one more okay. okay 
So I got this in Leicester when we went through it, so I didn't think there was much point in going with my flashcards anymore. So I'm sure I'll just whip through this straight away, no problems. Okay, so longest carbon chain, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that'll be hexane. And I have on my first, second, third carbon an ethyl group. So that'll be three ethyl. And I have on my uh, second and fourth carbon a methyl group. So that'll be two, four, methyl. Okay, Is that so, right? well, I think that's almost spot on. So I think you're right that the longest chain is six carbons, and I think you were right to start numbering from this end to give us the lowest number possible for the sides groups coming up. Uh, a couple of things, though, we should say here. First of all, as you were telling me earlier, we should have our dye in here for the dye methyl. Yeah. Uh, and also, when we have more than one thing coming off the chain, actually we need to order them alphabetically. Okay. Now, if you put the dye in here, you might think that that is correct alphabetically because D comes before E mm -hmm. for the ethyl group. But actually, we look at the alkyl, the, the hydrocarbon group as a whole. So we're looking mm -hmm. at methyl and ethyl here. So mm -hmm. really, we should put the ethyl first. Mm -hmm. So this should be 3 ethyl, 2, 4 dimethyl, hexane. So if I had tri hexyl, it would be the H. I it would be that. the H, yeah, not the T for the tri. Okay, well I reckon I can do better this one then. Let's try this one. Okay, so my longest carbon chain is one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's going to be hexane. And on my, so let's get it alphabetically. So E is going to come before M, so that's going to be five. Okay, I think I'll just stop you there quickly, Brady. So you've, you've jumped in and looked straight at this chain going from left to right across the board here. But actually, uh, as you were just saying, off this carbon we've got a, a C2 group, a C2H5, an ethyl group, and actually we could include that in the longest carbon chain. Right, okay. So if we think about numbering this chain, mm. we could start here, so that would go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Mm -hmm. So that's a heptane chain, mm -hmm. and if we look at the numbers of the groups coming off here, we've got a 3, a 4, and a, a 5. And I guess if I numbered it the other way, it'd still be 3, 4, and 5. We would also have 3, 4, and 5. Okay. Yeah. So that'll be heptane for the 7 carbons, Yeah. and then on 3, 4, and 5, no matter which way I go, yeah. I've got methyl groups, so that's 3, 4, 5, and then as there's 3 trimethyl? Exactly. And I've kind of run out of space, so I'm just going to kind of write that above it like that, and uh, squeeze that in. I'll yeah. write an exam well, on it. No, I, don't, no, I don't think so. Okay. Really. I think we need to okay. not be lazy, <laughs> take the time, and write the name out properly. Okay. So now I've done my kind of rough draft, I'll just write out nice and neat. Well, that might be neat in your opinion. It's, it's probably just <laughs> about okay, Brady. I do have the handwriting of a child, yes. Um, how about that? That would do. That would do, okay. Brilliant. I guess we'll call that there then. Yeah, brilliant. Thank you very much, Tom.